Hey dudes, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, I want you to leave here being able to calculate the concentration of the H plus ion. We also call that the hydronium ion concentration when I give you the pH of a solution. So that's right, today you are starting off giving you the pH, and you're going to work backwards and calculate out the hydrogen ion concentration. In order to succeed at this lesson, you need to know how to use your calculator. When you're looking for the pH, we found the log button. That was good for pH, but we're not solving for the pH right now. We're solving for the hydrogen ion concentration. And so today we're going to be keying in on this button right there, the 10 to the X. And often you're going to need the shift button to get there. All right, dude, so make sure you have a calculator that has that in order to succeed in this lesson. All right, dudes, here we go. How do we calculate hydronium ion concentration? That's the H3O+. Plus. This is the pH formula. And if we're going to use some algebra, we need to isolate this. All right, we need to isolate that. That is what we're looking for. So we need something that says equals H3O plus concentration. We're going to do a little algebra here. I just did a little algebra. I brought over the negative and I brought over the log, the left-hand side. A little magic going on here. The only problem is your calculator does not function that way. It will not divide by log. So it does, though, have this. It has that 10 to the X button. Now, I made it a negative X because that was negative. And you're going to see where I'm going. What you're going to do is that you're going to be using that button, but entering the pH value right there. And that's how you're going to go backwards and solve for the hydrogen ion concentration of the solution. All right, dudes. Check this out here. I'm giving you an example with the answer at the bottom. Those are for you guys who are speedy, you like to rush ahead. Here we go. The answer is there for you. It'll be there for you every single slide. So speed ahead if you want. The answers are there for you. What I want you to do is to calculate out the hydronium ion concentration. What was the concentration? What was the moles per liter is what I'm saying, molarity, for a pH of 8? All right, dudes, so that is going to be our formula. We're doing that second log function, and you know what to do? You're plugging in the pH right there. The negative came from that negative log, and when you do that, we find out... <laughs> and when we do that, we find out that my answer is 1 times 10 to the negative 8. That's right, dudes, you saw this right here. That was a negative 8, and then I ended up over here at the same number. Also, just so you know... That's the same thing as going out and writing it like that, okay? That's seven zeros and then a one. That's how many moles per liter. That's not too many moles per liter that I have here. All right, example number two. All you race cars, there's the answer for you. Other guys, tune in right now. Listen up. This is good stuff here. We're going to bust out the formula that I expressed beforehand. I want you this time to plug a 3.8 into that negative X. So you're doing the second shift to the log. You see this 10 to the negative x come up, and then you're going to plug that in. Now, just a little FYI, if you have some of the older school calculators, you're going to have to enter the th negative 3.8 first, and then you're going to have to enter the second log button. When you do so, we find out after we plug and chug, that's what it's going to look like on your calculator, hopefully. And the answer I have expressed in the bottom, once again, I'm going to get a ballpark. Look at that. I'm very close to that number. The pH and the concentration are very similar in the exponents. They're very similar in the exponents. So the concentration of hydronium ions is 1.58 times 10 to the negative fourth. Let's not forget what we're doing here. This is molarity. That's moles per liter. And it can also express it as just a regular number, not using scientific notation, but regular notation right there. All right, dudes, here we go. Your next job, calculate out the H3O plus concentration for a solution with a pH of 13.2. Now, I want you to recognize, so far, when we do this, I always have a number that's in the ballpark of that as my exponent. So we got, we got a little plug and chug going on. There's the formula. There's the substitution. 
I see I made a typo here. I think my typo is uh, wrong right here. I just used a 3.8. Let's cross that out, dudes. Let's put in a 13.2. My bad, it happens. When I crunch the numbers and I do 10 to the second, etc., log button, I have a 13.2 now. I get a number that's 6.31 times 10 to the, here we go, negative 14. I want you to see once again, they should always be close. They should always be close. If you're one of those dudes that doesn't like scientific notation, you're really going to love this. Good luck entering this into your calculator because mine can't handle that, and that's why we use scientific notation over there. It's a lot of zeros. What does it mean? It means I have a very, very small concentration of these H plus ions in solution. And when I have a very small concentration of them, it's a basic solution. So basic solutions have a lot of zeros here as I go out, low concentration. All right, dudes, this is where you are hitting a home run. You are pressing pause right now, and you're going to fill out an answer for each one of these on the paper that is hopefully in front of you. If there's no paper, grab a scratch pad. The next slide I'm going to show is going to have every single answer on there. But I want you to take two seconds. It's going to take you at this point to plug and chug. You're probably a master now of this. Let's remind ourselves of the goal. The goal was to calculate out the hydrogen ion concentration given a certain pH. That was the goal of the lesson. Let's not lose sight of that on our last slide right here. I'm giving you several pHs. Tell me, from the pH, what is the molarity of the hydrogen ion concentration in solution, whether it be a pool, a soda, whatever. Tell me the hydrogen ion concentration. All right, dudes, press pause, and I'm going to go to the next slide. All right, dudes, here we go. If I go too fast, you want to press pause again. There are the answers. I do want you to also just do a mental reality check. You know, do the numbers come close to your exponents? That's how I always like to, you know, make sure this works. Another way for you to double check this is that you can always resubstitute, you know, the pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus ion concentration. Really, if you want to double check yourself, take any one of these hydrogen ion concentrations. I'll take this one right here. Plug that into this formula and go back now and solve for the pH. And you know the answer is right if your pH is 14. And then you use the 10 to the negative 14th equals the concentration of the H plus to go back into the concentration again, it's kind of cool. You can use both of these and both of those formulas below as checks and balances for yourself. You really can't get anything wrong. That is really cool not to get something wrong on a test. And if you know that when you leave there, it just gives you a little bit of a confidence that you're going to do awesome on it. Dudes, that is the lesson for tonight. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope you hit a home run. I hope you're going to rock it on a test and do amazing. If you do, drop me a line. Let me know that it's all working for you. All right, dudes. Peace, man. Thanks a lot.